case specifies a high-speed Ethernet-based uh, data loader, where Arinc 615 is a preceding specification that specifies um, software data loads utilizing uh, Arinc 429 for the connection between the loader and the loadable avionics system. So they're very different protocols, um, uh, actually completely different, uh, almost no overlap between the two of them. One uses Ethernet, one uses Arinc 429, um, and really the similarity kind of stops with the fact that they're both used to load software from an, an off-board or, or an on-board uh, data loading system to an avionics computer. Uh, the Arinc 615A specification defines a protocol uh, that's used both by airborne data loaders, so these are data loaders that would be part of the aircraft, the aircraft system, uh, would be permanently a, a permanent fixture of the aircraft, and also the same protocol is used for portable data loaders. So um, this is maybe a laptop or some kind of a portable computer that would be carried on used for maintenance. Uh, so spec covers both of those. Um, and then the 615A spec covers the protocol and the requirements for both the, um, the target side, so the software stack and the, the, the handling on the, on the avionics computer and on the data loader. So the diagram here we have uh, kind of a basic um, o overview of what, what a network would look like. So the data loader, a portable one, can be any, any kind of a portable computer that has an Ethernet LAN interface that can connect to an Ethernet, a standard 802.3 network, uh, which would also have the aircraft systems, the loadable targets connected to it. Um, and the data loader communicates, you know, using Ethernet and, um, and on top of that IP and UDP, and uh, also it utilizes the trivial file transfer protocol. So all standard um, internetworking LAN protocols uh, are used, are, are client, or are, are used by the 615A protocol. So think of it as sitting on top of these standard protocols. We have a picture here of the, the protocol stack on both uh, the, the data loader side and on the target side. So you can see that the, the data loader protocol uh, and the, the data loader protocol on the target side are clients of the TFTP. So they use the file transfer client and server services provided by TFTP and also the connectionless interface services uh, for communicating between ports provided by uh, UDP brief overview of the, the, the small set of, of actual operations that are supported and specified by Arinc 615A. So first, uh, we have the find, and the best way uh, to, to describe this is think of it as a, what a ping operation does on a normal LAN network. It's, it's essentially a 615A equivalent to a ping. So the data loader can multicast uh, a request, and any avionics computer on the network that is loadable uh, that, that speaks 615A and is in the loadable state of operations can reply to this find to indicate to the data loader that it's available and ready for, for data load operations. The information operation is used to uh, allow the data loader to request and receive software configuration information from the, the airborne computer. So it's, it specifies the format of the, the software um, files, part numbers, uh, and revision level reporting that the, the airborne computer will provide back to the data loader when requested. The upload operation is, is you know, the main key, I guess, sort of central operation of, of 615A um, um, based targets and loaders. So th this is the operation that's used to load loadable software parts from a data loader up to an avionics computer. And then there's two types of download operations that are, are specified and supported by 615A um, devices. One is a media defined, so in this case, the data loader would have a file on it uh, that's in the, in the format and content of that file is specified in Airing 615A, and that file would contain a list of the files that reside on the airborne target that the data loader would like to download. So from an operator of the data loader standpoint, they would pick this file and then say download, and that file would contain the list of which files they want to retrieve from the target. Then there's the operator defined download, which is a little more interactive. Uh, with this operation, the data loader first queries the loadable target for the list of files that it has that are available for download, presents those to the data loader. The user of the data loader selects which files he or she would like to download and then proceeds to download them. Okay, a little more detail about the upload operation. So again, today we're going to focus mainly on the upload operation, since we're talking about um, targets and loadable, you know, loading operations to a target, because this is really the key 
uh, central operation, as I said, of the protocol, and, and sort of everything else kind of falls out um, from the upload operation. So as I said, it's used to transfer software files from the data loader up to the avionics computer. Uh, and the way this operation starts is with the data loader acting like a uh, file transfer protocol, TFTP client, and it will do a get or read request of a file from the target, the loadable target or the, the avionics computer. Uh, this file will have an extension .lui. And so what the target does is it transfers within the content of this file, it's um, an indication of whether it accepts and is ready to process the operation or not. So this LUI file, is the, the format of it is specified in the airing spec, and it's what is used by the target to indicate to the loader when requested whether it accepts the operation or not. If the operation is accepted, what the target will do is then immediately start sending periodic status to the data loader uh, acting as a client. So in this, at this step, the target will act like a client and do file write requests to a server in the data loader to write status files. And these files have the extension uh, .lus for an upload operation. And they indicate basically, uh, or like a heartbeat, that indicate that the target operation is still alive, in progress, and going on. And they provide information about the progress of the operation to the loader for display to the operator of the data loader. Once the data loader receives some status saying that the, the operation is accepted and is in progress, the next step will be um, that the data loader will write to the target uh, a, lo a list of loads. And this will be in the form of an LUR file. And it basically contains the list of the loadable software parts that the user of the data loader has requested to load to the target. So providing a list of the, the, the loadable software to the target. Once the target has that list of loadable software, it then becomes purely a TFTP, um, a TFTP client where uh, in one thread of operation it's sending the periodic status files, uh, basically heartbeat, to keep the, the data loader uh, aware that it's alive and, and, and still working. And then in a separate thread, usually a file upload thread, uh, the target is spinning through and requesting all the files that are part of the, the loadable software parts that were provided previously in the list of loads by the data loader. Uh, once all those files are transferred and read by the target from the loader, then what would happen is the, the, the target would send a final status in an LUS file that indicates that the operation is complete and successful or maybe that it's complete and aborted